Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nan. If this is the first time you've been here, welcome. I do a lot of bullet journaling content, journaling content, and I just put out a sketchbook tour. Um, but in today's video, we're going to set up my 2021 bullet journal. It's quite a long video, so let's get right into it. To color in the 2021, I just used a Crayola Super Tip Black Marker. It's the first time I'm using them and I'm actually super happy about them. I left all my Tombows in Canada and I bought this set in a dollar store in Canada too before I moved and I'm really happy with how they work. Like, they're such a great option if you're looking for something a little bit less expensive and I'm really happy with them so far. So I definitely recommend the Crayola Super Tips if you're looking for an another option other than Tombows. For the cover page, I just went with a very bold 2021 with a black marker and then some black and white washi. Super simple, easy, and I wanted to try to keep it, I wanted to try doing a minimal um, like spread, so that's why I kind of just chose the black and white theme. Um, I am going to do fun colors and themes for every month of the year, but I wanted to have my setup just super simple and black and white. And that's it for my 2021 cover page. Super simple, very minimal, and quite bold with the lettering or the numbering, and I'm happy with it. So I didn't like how the 21 was ghosting through so much, even a little bit of bleeding. So I just ripped out a page from the back of my book and did my goals page on it, and then I just glued it on to cover up all the ghosting, and it looks much better. goals I just kept it very simple three main goals they're all creative and kind of just helping with one major goal and that major goal is to open up a shop next year I'm currently out of the country so we'll see how that works but that is the goals I've been bullet journaling for quite a few years now, so the spreads that I'm doing in this journal setup are ones that I really use every year, and I took out all the ones I haven't really filled out fully. I thought it was just a waste if I had all the ones I didn't use, so I'm really just putting in a few of the ones that I use every single year. Um, and actually I added another spread for my hiking log, um, just because I ran out of space last year so I wanted to make sure I get all the logs in for that one and then of course I did the future log, um, two pages for that here as well.
I didn't do much planning, like actually writing into my journal before I actually went in with pen. So I'm just using my phone for the calendar and going off of that. I only made one mistake, so I'm very, very pleased with myself. Um, but I didn't want to waste all that time. And honestly, it's okay if you make mistakes in your journal. It, it happens and it's going to happen. So I didn't want it to be perfect anyway. So right after my future log pages, I wanted to track my Duolingo again this year. I did an amazing job last year. I had over 200 days of doing Duolingo every single day. And then I moved and I lost my streak. I was so sad. Um, so I want to do that again this year, but I want to keep it for the whole year. And then right beside that page, I did a reading in Spanish page. Um, so I want to track that daily as well but for the whole year. I love seeing all the colors and everything, so I'm super excited for that. And then I forgot I was gonna do a black and white theme and I colored in the Duolingo in green, um, but that's okay, it looks nice, so I'm okay with it. I loved tracking my Duolingo last year, so I definitely had to do it this year again. I'll insert a photo so you guys can see what it looked like last year. It was just at the beginning of the year, so I only had, I think, over 100 days um, colored in. Um, but it looks really nice, and I wanted to do that again this year as well.
I probably should have done a little bit more planning, but I didn't. So I'm just using my phone to Google how to spell reading in Spanish so I can make my title in Spanish rather than in English. And then I just color it in black and then I separate the letters just a little bit with a white gel pen. And that's it for my Duolingo tracker and my reading Spanish tracker. Very simple. I love coloring in the little boxes, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so right after that, I moved on to my hiking logs. Um, last year, I did that for the first time, and I loved it. I can't remember how many kilometers I hiked, but I'll have to add it up. But it was honestly one of my favorite ever trackers I've ever done. And I hiked every single month of the year, and I did so many kilometers. And I ended up training for a lake-to-lake -lake hike which is 44 kilometers. It actually never ended up happening, but it will happen at some point. Um, I will have to condition again, but it will definitely be documented in my bullet journal and in my regular journal, so I can't wait. And then after my hiking log, I added a My Loveys page, which is basically my plants. Um, I absolutely love my little succulent plants at home, and they're one of my favorite things. I love tracking, watering. I love tracking them. They're so beautiful. They've, I've had them over a year and a bit, a year and a half maybe now, and they're all doing so well. And I'm very, very happy about them, so I wanted to track their watering again. And so I just call them My Loveys because they are they bring me so much joy. So. I gave them two different sections because different plants need different watering schedule. So yeah, very easy ones. The boxes took forever, but the boxes are so fun to color in. So that's why I always do so many boxes.
And then right after my Lovies page, I created a media tracker. So just basically tracking my Instagram accounts and my YouTube. Um, just fun. I love seeing numbers. So I wanted to do a small page for that. And that's all I did. Very easy. And I, I combined them all into one page because I didn't, I didn't want to have too much pressure on myself. So and it's just fun. It, like social media is so much fun if you let it be fun. So yeah, very simple, small. Then we move on to my monthly theme idea page basically just a month a little box for every month where I'm gonna put a little doodle or washi tape or a color theme uh, just to kind of see it all on one page it'll look really nice at the end of the year for sure we're on to the last page so I wanted to end off all my yearly spreads with a quote and the quote says create a life worth living I truly had an amazing year of growth and I created so much and I met a lot of my goals and I'm hoping to bring all that into the next year as well um, yeah so I thought it was a very fitting quote for, to end off all the pages that I just created All right, let's flip through all the pages that we created today. All right, guys, that's it for me and the video today. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys all have a wonderful holiday and stay safe and healthy. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.